Well, hello friends. Welcome to the lecture two. In this lecture, we are going to talk about group. So, first of all, what is the definition of group? A group is a set under some operations if it satisfies the following properties. So, we have mentioned five properties over here, and it is denoted as G comma dot, where G is any set, and this dot is any binary operator. So, while I am explaining you any of these properties. This dot is any of the operator, and I will be speaking it as dot for conveniency. Okay. So first of all, let us talk about closure property. Closure a one, right? So closure property says that for any two elements, a comma b belongs to G, which is our set. Then C is equal to a dot b, which also should be belong to G, our set, right? Now next property is associative property a two. So for any three elements a, b, and C, which belongs to G. Then a dot b dot c must be equal to a dot b dot c. All right. Now third property, which is identity property a three. So for any element a belongs to G, let e be its identity element. Then e dot a is already always equal to a dot e. Now the fourth property, which is inverse property a four. So for any element a belongs to G, a inverse dot a should always be equal to its identity element. Well. Don't be get confused because we are going to talk about the example also in the next part. So let's talk about now the fifth property, which is commutative property a five. So for any two elements a comma b belongs to G, then a dot b is equal to b dot a. Well, I have explained you all the properties which should be defined in a group or which defines a set as a group. All right. Now, if and in an example only the a one. And a two property satisfies, which is closure and associative. Then that group is called as semi group. If a one, a two, a three, and a four all these properties satisfies, then it is known as group. And now, if a five also gets added in this a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five, then that group is known as abelian group. So now let us solve an example. Uh, we have a group. Which which represents n as the set, natural numbers, and operator as addition. So we have to find out that is this a group or not. So n set consists of one, two, three, four, and so on. All right. Now before explaining uh, that is the how many properties satisfies this set, I want to tell you that the identity element e. So for addition it is zero, and for multiplication it is one. All right. So now in this particular example. It satisfies a one and a two property, but not a three and a four. Why? Because a three property and a four property consists of identity element. And for addition, as I told you, that identity element is zero, but zero is not consisted in our natural set. So this will not satisfy a three and a four property. So therefore, as I mentioned you earlier, that if any group satisfies a one and a two property, then it is known as semi group. So this example is not a group; it is a semi group. All right. Now let us take an example for an integer. All right. So the another example is z four, and the operator is again addition. All right. So now z four is equal to zero one two three, which we taught you in the lecture one. All right. If you forget, then refer it once again. So for this, now we check all the properties. So a one property, which is closure property. So in this set, in this domain only itself, we have to take our numbers. So we choose three plus two, and we also have to do the modulus of the z number which we have used in our example. All right. So the number we choose for a and b are three and two. So three plus two five mod four gives one. One is in our domain, so it satisfies. Uh, number two, which is associative property, so we took one plus three plus two mod four, or we can take one plus three plus two mod four, which gives answer two. So two is also in our domain, so this property also satisfies. Now a three, so for a three we have identity element as it, as it is addition, so we will have zero. So zero plus one mod four gives us one, and as zero is included in our domain, so it also satisfies. Similarly, a4 also satisfies and a5 also satisfies. So as I taught you earlier, that if all the properties a1, a2, a3, a4, and a5 uh, are satisfied, then this particular group is known as abelian group. All right. And now we would like to give you few examples as your homework, which is this uh, written over here. So you try to solve it by yourself, and if you have any doubt, then please uh, comment in our comment section. 
will be happy to help you thank you